Five years ago, this Alex G that you know of today. What's the largest profit you made in a single day of trading? $121,000 in one single day. Didn't exist. He was a young 18 year old kid that was immature, unsuccessful, and extremely lost. And five years later, all of this changed completely. And this is due to the fact that he took action on doing the duties to become successful. He decided to stop being a child and messing around and wasting time and take responsibility on what had to be done to be successful from that day forward and be successful for the rest of his life. And although it wasn't easy, trust me, it is definitely worth it. And all of this started when I decided to take responsibilities for my life. And that was to make important decisions. Decisions like to plan my life, my every single step of my day, my calendar, everything. Plan every single thing that I had to do. And this year, I have already planned my whole entire year from start to finish. And in this video, I'm going to officially commit myself and share with you guys what I have planned for this year. And I came up with these goals at a private retreat that I had at the beginning of the year to really come down to the core things that would help myself and everybody around me. Now, before I tell you my goals, the only reason why I'm putting it out here on YouTube and documenting it is because every single time I want to achieve something, I document it. And then when you fast forward two, three years later, you can see the result because I'm manifesting it every single day. For example, you can take this video right here of me looking at a McLaren where I'm saying that I'm going to achieve it two years from that day. Fast forward two years, I bought my first McLaren 720. And examples like these I have hundreds of them. And right before I get started with the goals in this video, I don't want you to think that I'm just here flexing on you or just making this video about me. I'm just showing to you guys how a 23 year old that five years ago was at Dunkin' Donuts can make big plans and achieve them. I'm doing this to inspire you guys so you guys have ambition so you guys can set goals for yourselves and you can achieve them within the year. So I'm doing this to show you guys what I'm planning and how I'm going to achieve it and what I'm going to do to do it so you can set goals for yourself and you can do the same. So. Now that you understand that whatever I put my mind to, I will achieve it. This is my first goal. And my first goal is as crazy as this might sound is I will be buying a jet before 2024 ends. Now I know that might sound crazy that a 23 year old that was five years ago working at Dunkin Donuts is going to own a jet. And the answer is yes. And the reason why I'm taking action on this is because in 2023, I took over 60 to 70 flights all around the world. And I realized that I hate airports. I simply hate waiting in line. I hate having to deal with other people in the airport and you waste so much time waiting for the plane to come, miss flights and not, yeah, not dealing with any of that stuff anymore. Time is an asset and I'm going to use that to my advantage with my own private plane I can just call up the pilot, pull up, fly whenever, however I want. So you might be wondering how I'm going to achieve buying a jet and I'm going to actually explain that to you later in the video. It's going to be part of my fifth goal. So make sure you watch the video to the end so you understand how I'm going to be able to afford a jet as a 23 year old. But my main goal with buying this jet is simply saving time and not actual, you know, two hours or three hours on a flight. It's more of like mental space, not having to deal with the airport, not having to deal with the delayed flight, not having to deal with possible interactions in the airport. You know, everybody that's flying, everybody's stressed, everybody's in a rush, you know, it's just not a good environment. So it's just to save that headspace of having to deal with all of that. So I can simply always be in focus mode. I don't ever have to get out of that mode. Moving on to my next goal, which is going to sound even crazier is my extreme bucket list. So now what does this mean? So if you guys don't know, I love adrenaline. I think life is meant to go have fun, not to just be home and watching Netflix and be bored all the time. Like if you're successful, the point is that you have the free time to go have fun, go do fun shit, not just simply be home doing nothing. So my second goal is achieve everything in my extreme bucket list, which is going to consist of four things. So the first goal in the extreme bucket list is going to be for me to compete in a real rally race. So if you guys don't know, I'm a semi-pro professional drifter. I love racing. I love cars. I love all of that stuff. 
And as a kid, I've always seen these guys racing through the woods and just drifting. And I just think it's awesome because they're getting these street cars, but they're making them all terrain. So one of my goals this year is to compete in a real rally race where I'm so serious about it that I even bought a Can-Am or, you know, or, or semi rally car for me to practice in so I can train and be prepared for when I go race later this year. And, and I think it's going to be around October or November race that's going to happen in Europe. The second goal within my extreme bucket list is going to be doing a backflip off of a wakeboarding boat. So I've actually never wakeboarded in my life. I have never even done any sports inside the water. And I've always wanted to do a backflip, but I feel like a backflip is pretty basic. So why not do it off of a wakeboarding boat and, you know, probably, you know, just something crazy. So I bought a boat and I've already been practicing how to wakeboard and it's harder than you might think. So I've been getting the practice of it and uh, I'm going to be working towards that all the summer. So I'm able to successfully land and do a backflip while I'm wakeboarding. And I know this second one might seem like a weird or random one, but who do you know that can do a backflip off of a wakeboarding boat? Probably nobody. So I want to be that guy. My third goal within my extreme bucket list is going to be to race in, the, it's kind of even crazy for me to say, it's for me to race in the mountain of hell. So it's a competitive race that is done on bicycles that is started at the top of a mountain somewhere in Denver or somewhere in Aspen, Colorado, where you race from a top of a snowy mountain, you race down it, where you then go through a terrain of woods, and then you race through the city of wherever the race is going to be held. So this is a health challenge that I'm gonna set for myself because you need to be in extreme shape in order to be able to pretty much race down a mountain that you're up 20,000, 25,000 feet on top of a mountain. And then most importantly, then be able to go back up it through the terrain. It's an extreme adrenaline rush and it's done only one time a year. So I'm going to be training all year for me to be able to successfully do that. not only compete in it, but potentially land in a higher ranking of it. And then last but not least, my fourth goal of my extreme bucket list is going to be jumping off of a plane. So skydiving and then maybe solo skydiving. I am extremely scared of heights and I am a believer that you have to face your fears in order for you to realize that it's not that bad and you know you're bigger than what you're scared of and i'm something that i'm going to be mentally preparing myself this year and i will be giving it a shot because i just believe you have to face your fears and i have never ever in my life thought i'd ever be able to do it but i will be doing that this year so i'm setting all of these challenges as one of my goals in my extreme bucket list because i really do believe that if you are successful you are to experience everything out there. You are to do anything and everything that is possible. We're not getting any younger and our time is limited. So just make sure you live life to the fullest and I'm gonna make sure I do that this year. And I do plan to achieve it because the year has just started and I already bought pretty much the race car and I already bought the boat. So now I have to do is buy the bike and then just you know get some balls when I'm ready to jump out the plane. So I'm working very hard to achieve all these goals. So moving on from our extreme bucket list is my third goal, which is actually something that I have already kind of been doing, but I'm going to take it extremely serious this year. And that is going to be set and forget philanthropy. So I'm going to be starting a, my philanthropy where I'll be giving back to schools, where I'll be helping kids in need, their kids in cancer, my family and friends that I have in Cuba, probably, you know, help them give school supplies to some kids out there that literally have nothing, help some kids in Africa, help some cancer kids that are as well here in the United States. My goal is to just help those people that are truly in need and they don't have access to anything. They're not able to get access to resources so they can better the situation. So that's where I'm going to be taking set and forget philanthropy, where it's going to be better in this situation because I have the possibility to do it. And I have been giving back since the beginning of my first success that I have had with trading. And I almost think that it's fair because trading is, you know, obviously very easy work once you learn the skill set. And if I have the possibility to give back those in need, I think it's only fair I'm able to give back. And also one of the main reasons on why I'm pursuing this is because I remember one time that I was at a red light here in Miami and there was a lady selling oranges or I think it was some type of fruit. And I asked her how much was it for her whole entire set of fruits. And she, I think she asked like $50. I give her a thousand dollars there at the red light and this lady has completely bawled in tears. She said that I had cleared her debt 
for the whole entire last six months. She has had a credit card debt of $700 and that that was stressing her out. She didn't know how she was going to pay it. And it was only getting bigger because the interest was obviously eating her up. And when she, ex like I literally felt her expression. She told me to get out the car and give her a hug. And ever since I felt that from that day, that something so small to me was so big to that person, I figured that it's only fair if I continue to chase this feeling and change somebody's life and better the situation. So now going in to our fourth goal, we all know I am a trader and I've been trading now for five, six years. And the fourth goal is trading related. And this is to bust any myth out there that you can't take trading not only big, but you could take it to the next level where you are extremely successful as a retail trader or as a trader from your home office, just a regular person, just trading at home, giving it hundred percent every single day with a profitable strategy. And that's why my fourth goal is to make $10 million this year from my personal account using my set and forget strategy. And the reason why I have the $10 million mark as the goal is because that's pretty much the next thing kind of after a million. Obviously the millions have been made. I've been very close to almost the eight figure mark, but not quite there alone from my trading. So this year is to make $10 million solely and simply from my trading. And I don't plan to just achieve this on my own by myself, you know, in my office, I plan to show you guys this whole entire journey for the past four to three years. Every single trade that I have taken has been publicated on telegram, YouTube, Instagram and Discord, every single trade that I have taken. And this year, not only am I going to turn it up a notch, but I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to make this $10 million right in front of you guys with every single trade that I take. Everything is going to be documented so you guys can see the journey and what it took to make that a much amount of money. Oh, and you think I forgot about the first goal? Yeah, my goal is that halfway through the year, I should be halfway through this goal where it's $5 million. So I will get about 60 to 75% of that and we throw it straight into a jet. So that's how I'm gonna be affording the jet this year in 2024. So I will be killing two birds with one stone or two goals with one trading goal. So we're gonna see how that goes. And last but not least, which is my fifth goal, which is by far my most important and most challenging goal that I will be taking on this year is with you guys, my set and forget community and my students. And that is going to be for my set and forget students to make the same amount or even more than I do this year. But the goal is for the set and forget community to make over $10 million this year. And I want you guys to understand the degree of the difficulty that it takes for that to happen. For me to make $10 million this year in trading, it's not difficult because I am responsible for that. It's just one person and I know what it takes and I've been doing this for six years and I've already made multiple seven figures from trading. So I just replicate it and I know the system that works and I am 100% dedicated to the craft. But now, managing thousands of students every single day in my chat takes extreme organization, takes extreme dedication, and it takes extreme consistency and respect towards the set and forget strategy. Not only is it the most challenging and difficult goal out of this whole entire big five, but it is also the most fulfilling one. Knowing that a strategy that I simply created in the closet of my parents' house five to four years ago trying to figure out what trading was to now where traders all around the world will be part of something bigger than I am. That to me is extremely powerful. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I remember when I got started trading, there wasn't a big community out there. There wasn't proof that trading was real. There wasn't a strategy that worked. Nonetheless, a community or a mentor that cared about every single person that was out there. So once Set and Forget grew to what it is today, which is the number one trading community in the industry, like, well, this comes with great responsibility and I can't just take it for granted or simply not treat it with respect. So that's why I'm going to make it my goal to make this bigger than I am. And the way how I plan to do this is not only am I going to continue to do the weekly calls with my students, I'm going to add a rewards program inside of my discord. I'm going to add multiple educational videos, and I'm also going to add a day trading section inside of swing trading lab. So you can take my strategy, use it for swing trading, and you can also use it for day trading. 
in addition to that, we're going to also have weekly Q&A calls and we're going to also have students that are going to host calls in there themselves. So my most profitable students, they're going to be given a role inside the chat where then they can also mentor people at a more detailed point, aside from what I'm already going to be doing with you guys on a weekly basis. In order for this goal to be achieved, I'm literally going to fire everything, everything that I have, all of my ammunition, everything that I use, even my psychology, my mindset, everything is going to be put on the table to be able to achieve this goal because it is one of the most difficult ones. And if that isn't enough, we're going to host two annual in-person masterminds for only and exclusively for set and forget students. This way, so we can also see each other in person and get to know the other people that are being part of something bigger than dumb. It's just something that is going to be like nothing ever seen before. And that is because I'm going to be opening my Swing Trading Lab podcast where I'm going to be doing an interview with every single trader that makes money within the set and forget community. And we're going to have a board where we're going to obviously track the profits of every single trader with payout proof, with withdrawals, crypto addresses, bank statements, everything. So everything has a foolproof system. So I'm going to do an interview with every single person that gets a payout because then that goes towards the bigger goal of 10 million dollars this year so you guys can learn from these students and how they got set and forget strategy and how they implemented it into their lives whether they had a full-time job whether they were working online whether they had no idea what trading was or whether they simply added it to their day-to-day -day life and they use trading as a side income so everything is going to be documented not only within the chat but there's going to be a separate youtube channel where we are going to show the interviews and the successful and profitable traders that are parts of the 10 million dollar goal so as you guys can see, there's a lot that's going to be happening this year. And I want this to be motivational to you guys, inspirational. If I am able to make it out of Dunkin' Donuts, not only become a successful trader, but now have such big goals with such planning and not only make it about me, it's about everybody around me, use this as a form of motivation for you to do this as well. So I'm extremely excited for you guys to be part of this process and you guys see what is going to happen this year. So if you wanna become a set and forget trader, if you're probably wondering what is set and forget and how it makes students make anywhere from a thousand to a thousand five hundred dollars a week as a beginner set and forget trader, click the link in the description below. There's a video for there that explains for you exactly what it consists of, how traders are making anywhere from a thousand to a thousand five hundred dollars a week as a beginner trader in the first three months using the set and forget strategy. Watch the video, let me know what you guys think. It is exactly the key foundation of what set and forget means. So appreciate you guys watching the video all the way to the end. Let's let 2024 begin.